stand on my way I beg you hold your hand device I love to raise dust I love to see people in pain I love to break <laughs> Thank you to be awake at this time. Oh, I was actually waiting up for you. Okay. Well, I see. Uh, Dana told me you and Joshua went out for drinks, so I thought maybe. You know what? Um, I'll fix you something to eat. No, no, it's okay. That's not necessary. I'm not. I'm not really hungry. Are I you sure? Go. Oh yeah, I'm fine, baby. I made your favorite. I can. Are you sure? Are you holding up? Listen, baby. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. With you, I don't know what to expect these days when I when I come home. But I can understand. I know that sometimes you really want to be by yourself. Please, baby. I just want you to know that I am here for you. Please, do not push me away. Babe. Baby. Is everything okay, but... What's the matter now? Come on. But are you hurt? Are you sure? Ah, what is it? Talk to me. What is it? What is it? Talk to me, baby. Come on. What is it? Huh? And I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. I was mad at you when none of this was your fault. There is no way you would have wanted this. There is no way you would have prayed for any of this to happen to you. I'm sorry. You'd have been more supportive, more loving, more caring, more, more everything. I failed you. Oh no, you did not. Yes, I did. No, baby, come on, don't talk like that. You have not failed. But I did. Baby. Please, just because you refuse to say it doesn't make me a saint. Yes. I was sad and mad about everything. But treating you like you invited this into our home? <laughs> I'm sorry. Please, could you find it in your heart to forgive me? I love you, Millicent. But every part of me, I love you. With all of my heart. I know that this is hard for you. But you can get angry if you want. No one is going to blame you for this. It's not your fault. You didn't come into marriage expecting for things to turn out this way, baby. Come on. I just want you to know that I give you my word today to work very hard to ensure that things get back to normal the way it's meant to be. I'll do everything, baby, to give you the happiness that I promised you when you agreed to be my wife. I love you, and nothing would ever 
change that. I love you too. I know. You like this? Yeah, it's okay, baby. It's fine. You're my love, my face, okay. my happiness. You're everything I need. There I see. Jane, Jane, Jane. <laughs> How are you doing, Jeffrey? Hi, I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> Why don't I? Sit down. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You've forgotten about me. That's not really nice. Jane, I'm so sorry. There's this new business I'm trying my hands on. It's been taking so much of my time. Besides that, I've been coming here to make my hair and all. You're the one that's not been around. Oh, really? Yes. I'm so sorry. I've been extremely busy. Mm. Cash you now. <laughs> you know how much I love money. Yes, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> I love this hair. Thank I remember you. I sold it to you. Mm -hmm. mm. You did. <laughs> Please, I hope you got something from me from your last trip because I won't take no for an answer. Of course, I wouldn't fail because I love money and yeah, you know okay. it. I need you to give me that money. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got this nice package for you and Claudia. Wow. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Bring it on. Hold up. Bring it. Hurry up. <laughs> I got you, baby girl. So nice to see you. I know, me too. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It's hold up. <sighs> okay. Hey Abby girl, quick one. Could you please come here now? Yeah, I need you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy, like I know. I didn't expect you to get to that extent. <laughs> well, uh, I must say I am. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> you sure know how to. You know how to give it out. Now to just hit it hard. <laughs> Thanks for coming, darling. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. I am really grateful to you for having me. You are by every standard a woman of a standing class. And I consider it a privilege being with you. Well, if not because I... I'm going somewhere the next one, I have an appointment. I won't have let you go, <laughs> darling. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not disrupt your schedule because of me. You know what? I will let you prepare for your appointment. But I'll sure keep in touch. Very good. <laughs> Come here. Do not think about me too much. Come here soon. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people. <laughs> she did that again? Yes, you, my sister. I feel for that poor girl. I mean, what was she thinking when she agreed to marry that man? Like any girl who is over heels in love. I mean, what is it with Claudia? She's the one who left the guy in the first place. Not willingly. Oh, really? But she played a huge part in making him break things with her. Yes, you're right. Oh, come on. The fact that she messed up a few times doesn't give him the right to throw out like one garbage. They had marital vows, remember? Yes, vows that she shouldn't have violated in the first place. Dorothy, why are you not seeing anything wrong in this? Why? Oh, me? Yes, you! What's my business? She's an adult, a grown woman. She should be able to take care of herself. And that includes literally turning her ex's life into a nightmare. Really? She's our friend. We should be talking to her about things like this. I mean, why are you not talking her out on her sheets? Why? Mm. The last time I checked, where has your talking to her gotten you? <sighs> You've fallen out with her more times than I can count. <sighs> Please, I don't want to be in your shoes. You know she has money. Mm -hmm. She's ready to give and to flaunt it. Yeah, I'm not going to give anybody advice because I don't want to miss out on those goodies. 
The fact that she has money doesn't mean we shouldn't talk to her about things like this. We should talk to her when it's necessary. Come on now, Dorothy. This is not right. And you know it. Um, Jane, you can do the talking. I am not interested. And I'm not ready to advise anyone. Let me warn you. If you continue like this, I'll be forced to stop coming here. What's wrong with you? Uh, Dorothy, listen, I, I didn't mean to sound this way, okay? You know how blunt I can be when it has to do with the truth? Mm. Please now, don't tell me you want to stop coming here. Do you want to kill me, eh? Jen, let me advise you. Whenever you're around Claudia, zip up your mouth. <sighs> It's not gonna be easy, but I'll try. Kate. I need to hear this from you. Is there any particular reason I'm being put off that woman's case? What did I do? What are you saying? Oh, come on, Stan. Don't make me look stupid and dumb at the same time. For Christ's sake, I was the first assigned to this case before you even come on board. It's I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know about this. Come on. Well, I'm just coming from Daniel's office. He said he's putting me off the case, assigning Tony and I to the newest case on ground. Tell me you're just hearing that for the first time. Look at me, Stan, and tell me you're just hearing it for the first time. Okay. In my defense. I did tell her there wouldn't be any reason for her to stretch it to such extreme. You are actually good at what you do. Exactly. So she told you that, huh? Actually, she complained. I thought she was just being hard on myself. You, you know the you know the matters concerning Claudia. I never knew she, she could stretch this matter to this extent. I'm sorry. So sorry. Uh, if I had known, I should have warned you. Please. No. No need. <laughs> Actually, I'm... I'm very happy. So made for conscious decision to get me off. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Stan. You know I love my job. I could die for it. I mean, I love defending people, good and bad alike. But that woman, that woman, she's so impossible. I was looking for fight or cuss about. You know, during our divorce trial, I barely resisted the hush to tell her to go to hell and let that man be. Because everything she got, she deserves it, even worse. She oh. deserves it. Oh, really? Seriously. Uh, you know, sometimes I wonder how <sighs> such a man got entangled with a bitch like that. How would I know? Maybe he was in love with her at some point. Hmm. I made your bitch right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here to invite you for dinner. Hmm. Yes, I am going to celebrate this. Finally, that woman is off my neck. How was that look? <laughs> Come on, Stan. Don't you dare stand me up. Well, I know it's been a while since we had something to do together. And um, I'm beginning to feel that this job is making me lose my man. How does that make me look? You sound more of a jealous girlfriend. Perfect. A good girlfriend always looking up for a <laughs> man. <laughs> okay, finish up. You know I love you. Did you hear me? I love you. I love you. Did you hear me? I love you. Love you too. Okay. Have you had a day with Claudia in our time? How am I going to fix this? You're my love, my faith, my happiness. You're everything I need. You're my love, my faith, my happiness. <laughs> <laughs> what 
are you doing here? Let me check on my wife. Mm, you're yeah. right. Besides, mm. something nice smells here. What's going on? <laughs> well, you know, this there's nothing. I'm just experimenting with new spices, you mm. know? Just a different way to cook rice. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. See, this is one of the many reasons I say that you are the best. Huh? But a very good wife always finds different ways to make her husband happy, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And a good husband does the same. But I've been trying. I'm trying. Your happiness is my business. <laughs> and I promise you that I'll never disappoint you, right? Thanks for the kind words, babe. Now, go and get ready and allow the lady do her thing. But what if I choose not to go? Babe? Yeah. You told me you had an appointment. Oh yeah, I remember I said that, but there's nothing else beautiful as, you know, having a moment with your woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I agree. You can take one here. As <laughs> usual. As usual. Dave, go and get ready. Okay, I'll set the table. Okay, go! Let's take one. Go! My food was good. Go! <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. This tastes different. I like it. You told me you were going to experiment, yeah? So it's it's really nice. But it's, it's spicy. And I like spice. I'm telling you. Okay. I like spice. And then I think the addition of um, garlic and ginger will be different. I feel like I think we should stick this, to this for now. It's, it's different. It's different. It's good to know you like it. Mm -hmm. And then when you make those very, very beautiful African cuisines, you know, just to pay attention to detail, like, you know, I like food. <laughs> I know. You know, I love food. But seriously, you don't want to try. No, okay, I'm fine. Right, because you're dieting. Exactly. So you're, you're vain. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I'm good. How is the beautiful bouncing baby girl doing? No. Uh, uh, Mike, Mike, calm, calm down, Mike. Calm down. Don't panic. I know, I know, I know. But try, try, try not to panic. Try. I'll cancel my meeting for the day. I'll, I'll just be with you. All right, just take it easy. I'll be there in a bit. I'll be there in... Yes. Okay. The details when I get... Okay, fine. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. It was, it was all hysterical over the phone. Couldn't even tell me what was panicking. So when I get there, probably know what the problem is. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't carry on. I have to go. Okay. It's, it's okay. I'll call you. All right. Yeah. yeah, but you told me you have a night shift, right? Yes, but I'm not leaving until you get back. It's fine. Be safe. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're my love, my fate, my happiness. You're everything I need. You're my love, my fate. You know, the thing is, I became so suspicious of the whole issue. So I decided to investigate it. Only then did I realize the notice did not come from the landlord. Even the, the agent in charge of this estate, he confirmed it. Now, my man, this is not making sense to me. Oh. Eh? It's not. So you mean the landlord is not the one that issued this notice? Eh? So who did? That is the issue. That is the issue. This, uh, this agent, Mr. Mike, he called not long ago and told me that some tenants have paid away. Can you imagine? I can't pay that, that amount of money. How could you say something like that? The truth is that 80% of these tenants have actually paid Why others have paid in something just to avoid being thrown out. No, boy. Too many things are coming into my head. What if all this thing is just a, a, a scam? That is a very big question. And that is where the landlord must come in. He has to really come into this. He stands the risk of losing his estate. Someone can just come up now and set the estate on fire out of anger. Now, nah, guys, stop talking like this now. Eh? Have conscience now. How can you say somebody's investment are blazed over just how much? It doesn't make sense now. Eh? 
Guy, man, I don't provoke me for here. Man, I don't provoke me with that kind of stupid comment. At the best, yeah, you see me so. Eh? Over how much now? Oh, but even if it is a guy, that is someone's investment. There is someone's money. Man, I calm down. See the worry now, say. Just calm down, babe. Just calm down. Can you move to the dog? Nah, I don't understand what you put. It's hard. It is hard. I can't think of anyone else. It's bloody. And why would she do a thing like this? Going to different properties you own, claiming joint ownership. With threats of evicting the tenants if they don't comply. That girl is crazy. Hence the reason my friend ran for his dear life. You separated from her. You divorced her. And you paid early money. I did everything. 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 That girl just has a way of drilling me. Seriously. See, she should have been severely dealt with when she did this mess at first. Gosh, I feel so irritated because I even introduced her to you. And I am the one who married her, Josh. So this is not on you, please. So what do we do? You don't know what to do? You can't explain all this? You know what? That's it. I'm done dealing with this the easy way. I handle this problem. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts now me be happening, lady, oh. Ya kotsoba. Ah. Ya kotsoba. Ya kotsoba. Ya kotsoba. Now me be this, oh. Yes. What are you doing here? Babe, what's going on? I've been calling your line, you've refused to pick your call. I don't understand, explain to me. And in your stupidity, you decided to show up here? Are you stupid or something? Babe, I don't understand, why are you sounding like this? Why are you, like, why, why are you talking to me like this, my love? It's me. What did you just call me? Your love? Did you just call me your love? Now listen, and listen carefully. Don't ever think I have anything to do with you. Do I make myself clear? I used you when I wanted you. And if I need you next time, my darling, I will come for you. Don't ever show up here, else I will treat you as an intruder. It's me you're talking to, it's Dino. Claudia, is Dino the... Gosh. Claudia! God. Claudia, it's me, Dino! Now maybe happening, lady, What kind of a woman is this? Wait, did she just dump me? This is a criminal offense, which you could go in for. But, are you sure she is the one? I see no one else being that stupid and callous to go this far. It is Claudia. I'm certain. That, you, you know, we need to be very careful dealing with her. Because the few times I've encountered her, she's not just dangerously smart. But she's too corny as well. No, I don't care. I don't care. That girl keeps drilling me. And enough is enough. What do you want me to do? I left her with everything that she wanted after the divorce. Why does she keep meddling in my private life? Why? Sit back. I keep taking bullets from her all my life. Is that what you're saying as my legal counsel? Okay. Okay. I know you want to go to court. Yeah, trust me. And I can't say you can't. But I still believe exploring all the avenues we do was a lot of good. Yeah. Think about your reputation. 
It huh. will get dragged into this. And that will surely affect your business. Think about it. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pains. I love to break people hearts off. Now me be happening, lady. Oh. How much money was paid into that account? About seven million. Some tenants, out of fear, went and paid up. According to the accountant, 4.5 million has been withdrawn into an unknown account, which undoubtedly should belong to her. I just hope and pray that account is being blocked. Yes. The problem is not just the money, but how to compensate those tenants who urgently went and paid up out of fear of threatened eviction. It wasn't their fault. Oh, come on. Partially it's their fault. For crying out loud, how can they go in there and pay into a different account which is not the normal account they usually used to? You know, Barrister, fright of eviction, fright of being thrown into the streets can make anyone do anything. Barrister, this is a fraudulent act and it's a crime. She should not go scot free. You know, uh, um, what I'm saying is that we should try as much as possible not to wash Mr. Kono's dirty linens outside. Um, I, I think I see what um, the barrister is trying to say. Um, as much as we are offended, we have to be careful. If we do not apply wisdom, we are going to have some major trust issues in future with our business partners and investors. So what I'd like for you to do, Mike, is to drop <clears throat> a proper tenancy agreement with some strict set rules attached to it and um, presenting to Joe to, to sign off on all of them. And they will present to the tenants. As for those who <clears throat> are of fright of eviction paid into that account, I can personally inform them. Unless, of course, the both of you would like to work out a plan um, where the said amounts can be deducted from the existing rent if they so wish. But that's the direction I think we should go for now. Guys. Okay. Oh, you do it. I love to see people in pains. I love to break people hearts off. Now maybe happen in lady Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Why is he not taking his calls? Okay, um, a text would uh, send a text message. Everybody Yes, Joe. Hey man, uh, it's Joe. Speak. I just got off the phone with the DPO, nothing. She's been out of the country. The last money in her account before she left remained the same as she already booked and took the necessary amount she needed for her trip. Nothing seems off about her. <sighs> this can only mean one thing. Claudia gave someone an instruction to carry out this act because I find it personally hard to believe that my tenants would readily jump out of their skin, you know, out of panic to, to pay way more than they are required to do in less than a year of paying the actual rent. It's hard to swallow. They said you were insistent that it was important and... And, and what, Joe? Joe, you know me. I run a business that gives me millions. So why would I want to insist that my tenants give me money before I can do other businesses and then make investments? It does not add up. Actually, I thought about that too. There wasn't more to add to it. What do you want to do? You 
want an intensive investigation into this or what? You know what, um, Joe? We'll keep this on the low for now. Alright? This cannot come out. Well, I will do my best. Thank you. me personal questions. Listen, listen, I don't like men that ask me questions. <sighs> we came here to have fun. Why don't we continue from from where we stopped? Hmm? I apologize if you feel like I'm getting too personal. But I'm just concerned as a friend. Well, I see it somehow. You know, I see you as a man molded in the caliber of my husband. A man that wants to box a lady to one corner where she will completely be useless. I, I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like it at all. Listen, I agreed to have stuffs with you. Because I knew you were divorced. Did you get married again and I didn't know about it for you to be making reference to my husband? Point of correction. Clinton is my husband. And he will still be my husband. And that it will remain till that do as well. You know, at this point, I, 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 this minute I think I know you the next minute it will dawn on me that I do not even know you at all. Why don't you concentrate on knowing yourself more and quit trying to know me? Because I am an enigma and nobody, nobody can ever understand me, Claudia. Good evening, sirs. Welcome to Reese Hotel. How may I help you? Thank you very much. We're here to meet with a friend from CISO Trade. Just a moment, please. Yes. Eloma, there are men here to see you. All right, tell my men, let them in. Okay, okay. Thank you. <sighs> you may go up now. Face through by your left. Thank you very much. Bye. My men are coming to deliver money to me. So do me a favor and hide in the restroom. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts off. Now maybe half one in lady Hey, Mike. <laughs> I'm good. How is the beautiful bouncing baby girl doing? No. Uh, uh, Mike, Mike, calm, calm down, Mike. Calm down. Don't panic. I know, I know, I know. But try, try, try not to panic. Try. I'll cancel my meeting for the day. I'll, I'll just be with you. All right, just take it easy. I'll be there in a bit. I'll be there in... Yes. Okay. 
The details when I get okay. Fine. What is it? I don't know. It was, it was, it was all hysterical over the phone. Couldn't even tell me, but was panicking. So when I get there, probably know what the problem is. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't carry on. I have to go. Okay. It's, it's okay. I'll call you. All right. Yeah. yeah. But you told me you have a night shift, right? Yes, but I'm not leaving until you get back. It's fine. Be safe. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're my love, my fate, my happiness. You're everything. Decided to just you know catch a quick nap and this is me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby. It's fine. I can see you're tired. I am tired. Yesterday was a very. Yesterday was crazy. As a matter of fact, I was very crazy. But how are you? you okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Oh. You should probably go take a shower while mm -hmm. I make you breakfast. Make what now? Come on, it's okay. I'll fix something for myself. I mean, you've been working. You've been on your feet all night. I've been sleeping. I can take care of that. Mm -mm. I know you can. I insist. Okay? So, go take a shower or let me get something to eat. Besides, I need to be sure that you're healthy. Considering the fact that you've been under pressure. Yeah, that's true. But I, regardless, I think I can do this. I can handle this. I said no. Okay. So go take a shower. <laughs> it's fine. Thank Good. you, baby. Uh. You're my love, my fate, my happiness. You're everything I need You're my love, my fate, my happiness You are everything I need Ooh. Ooh. About to quit So you're saying we're short of 7.6 million now? Eh? Oh yes. Uh, last time we checked that account, that's the exact amount we had there. Uh, non dime was, was missing and suddenly, from nowhere, it was totally wiped out. We can't even trace it. Yeah. And you think she's the one? Oh yes, of course. It has to be Claudia. She's the only one with the motivation to be that mischievous. But... Look at it this way, darling. It's not possible that I rob my tenants now, is it? And I can't also steal from myself. So who else? But you haven't got a confession from her yet. It's Claudia, baby. Come on. She's a sociopath. She's the only sociopath that I know. I know all of this brings me to begin to question why she's doing all of this to me. Because I remember clearly, during the divorce settlement, I was nice to her. I gave her everything that she would possibly need. I left her with enough money to cater to her needs. I, jewelry, cars, I even left the house for her. So why is she doing this to me? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I have never met someone with a messed up and twisted mind like Claudia. Mm -hmm. I got myself into this mess. If I hadn't married her in the first place, I wouldn't be going through all of this today. No, no, babe. Babe, don't talk like that. It's not your fault. You can't blame yourself. You couldn't have predicted the future. I mean, how were you supposed to know that she was going to turn out this way during marriage? Please, don't blame yourself. You didn't make her the way she became. She chose that way. Okay? That's 
sorry, babe. So tell me, how is the police handling it? Oh, well, they're handling it close enough. Uh, we're trying to keep it on the low so it doesn't become um, public knowledge. So it doesn't affect my business. You know, I work with a lot of investors. Uh, but the last update I got from the police is that they are keeping a trace on her. You know, so that way, um, they know exactly what she's doing at every given time, her activities, her movement. Maybe that way we also get to understand why she did it, or how she even did it. And possibly where the money is as we speak. It's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Everything will turn out okay. And I want you to know that I'll always be here for you. You've got to me, okay? I know, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. So let me know whenever you need any other thing. I'll remember that. It's fine. <laughs> Can I do it? I... Is everything the matter? I get that you are a graduate? Yes, I am. So how come you're not working? Obviously I'm a graduate and... I'm working. As a matter of fact, I work here. Oh, come on, Kenny, don't tell me that. <laughs> Is this the kind of job a graduate should be doing? Well, the condition of the country hasn't given anyone the space to start considering the quality of the jobs. <laughs> anyone could do anything to survive. Yes. Am I missing anything? Well, I'll, I'll see you later then. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Dai? Did I miss anything? I see you have a new one. So, what happened to Zova? He's hot. Mm. He's sexy. Mm -hmm. He's single. And most importantly, he's available. So, what's wrong with starting from it? And you laid him off. Really? <laughs> Sweetheart, you'd know me too well. I don't do men twice. Uh -huh. I don't accept on rare occasions. Well, oh, don't forget his hotness. It's not even good in bed, so. Oh. I'll him off. Claudia. Claudia. It is what it is. I love to see people in pain. <laughs> I love to break people's hearts. Now maybe half does it mean you're dumb or what? How many of your numbers do I have to block before you leave me alone? Hmm? Why are you not getting it? I, I mean no harm. Look, all I want from you is a little space. Space so I can prove it. Look, you are the most beautiful woman I have set my eyes on. And I mean it. Allow me. Just give me space. Let me prove to you that I'm a woman killer. Listen, I'm a married woman. So take your woman killer nonsense elsewhere and leave me alone. <laughs> I understand, I understand. Why are you sounding like this? Look, closeness is the only thing interest. Look, all I ask for is just, is just a space. Let me make you develop interest in this. Okay, trust me, you will love this. Mm? I'm going to block your number right now. And if you ever call me with another number, I promise you that I am going to make a formal report to the police. And trust me, no matter where you are, I will find you and make sure that you face the full wrath of the law. Nonsense. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts. Now maybe half one in lady. Oh, yeah, what's over? Oh, yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over?
Baba. You know, I, I am, I am battling the, the, the thought that classless Dorothy is planning to sleep with my housekeeper. And here you are. Here you are talking about my husband. What is wrong with you girls? What is just wrong with you girls? What is wrong? Do me a favor, Claudia. Face the issue and stop resorting to sentiments. What is you? You are playing with that guy's life and everything. I mean, you literally broke him. He managed to pull through. And now you are adding frustration to it. Have you stopped for a second to ask yourself a question? What if he's the one doing this to you? Mama, Madam Judge, please, can you just stop? Can you stop? Who asked you for your opinion? If I needed your opinion, I would have asked for it. Oh, really? After all, your opinion has done me no good. What you are doing is not fair. <laughs> what you are doing to that young man and his wife is not fair, and definitely not to you. Are you sick? Jen, are you sick or what? I've told you never to question me on what is good for me or not in my personal life. I am not trying to dictate how you live your life, Claudia. I am only concerned for you because you are ruling your life and the life of others with its unquenchable obsessions. Why can't you be happy for me for once? Hmm? Why can't you? Because I am your friend and you are ruining your life if you keep up with this. What do you expect me to do? Like I should support you? Or I should clap for you? Is that what you expect me to do? So you're now a set to judge me. Can you sent to judge me? Well, you don't know anything about marriage because you have never been married before. Excuse oh, me? Oh, yes. You don't know what it means to be married to a man for so many years. And all of a sudden, he wakes up to tell you that he's no longer interested in you. He doesn't want the marriage anymore. You don't know how it feels. Yeah, you don't. I am not going to sit back here and watch you judge my personal life. You know nothing about me. Excuse me. <laughs> well, you are not my problem, Jane. Dirty is actually my problem. Charles, just you know, I am so surprised that you have not been able to get that classless girl. I am trying my best. But the problem is that she doesn't want to see me face to face. Each time I try to call her, she blocks my number immediately. Then up your game. Charles, up your game. Hmm. Even if it means going to her house, do that. Take her to a very quiet place. Take good pictures. I mean, I need evidence. I need something to throw that girl out of that house. That's all I need. I know the plan already. <clears throat> I do. But I'm trying my best. But going to a house is quite risky. She might even call the police on me. <laughs> Charles. Charles, then use all your experience that you've gathered all these years and come up with something. But listen, I am not going to say much. I would not. But if you do this, 
Charles, if you do this, I will change your life. I love to break people's hearts Now maybe happening, lady, oh. Yeah, but so bad. Watch me, watch me do this. <laughs> so much. Woo, Haka! Unbelievable! <laughs> What's going on? If I don't get this, then I have to go back to my village. when Josh first told me about that. So it's true then. Hmm. Well, darling, <laughs> it is very true. I mean, that woman, something must be wrong with her. It's... Then I'm sorry, I know she's your friend, but she's just impossible. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. In the real sense of the word, she is not my friend. At least, not anymore. People. Hmm? One of those people that would just neglect their friends in times of need. Hmm? You know I'm not such a person, Millicent. I'm not. I always stick around my friends, but not this one. This one is silly and annoying. And I can survive with one less friend, which is her. <laughs> You're crazy. No. <laughs> no. But seriously, you know, she's actually not my friend. She was introduced to me when she was dating and eventually married Joshua's best friend. Mm. She's not. Mm. Okay, you say so. <laughs> I say so. Oh, Told you. <laughs> Can't play. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, babe, mm -hmm. back to our discussion. You know what I really wanted to ask you. You told me you had this new place where you shop for groceries. Oh yeah, but not quite sophisticated. But you like it? Oh, it's okay. But well, would you take me there tomorrow? Sure. At least, you know it's always fun to to shop with you. And also, someone is gonna pay my bills. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Besides, what are friends for? If not for the inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine, I, I will. Um, now, can we please stop talking and get back to this business because I'm about to beat you silly to this game. Watch it. Okay, let's do it. Really? Try okay. me. Now watch. I've been pitying you. Try me. Now watch. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts off. Now maybe happening, lady. Oh, yeah, yes, come, bad. come, come in. Ah, yeah, but so bad. Yeah, but so bad. Now maybe this so. Now maybe this so. Now maybe this so. Yeah, but so bad. You said I should see you before dishing out the food. <sighs> Don't you think there's um. Something better here than the food you've prepared? I don't know what that means. Naive Kenneth, he doesn't know what that means. All right, Kenneth. Yes, ma'am. Why are you blushing? I ask you, I mean, I know you've seen so many girls, uh, beautiful girls, Always dressed like this, so why are you acting like a boy? Ma'am, I don't think that's an appropriate conversation to have with my employer. Your employer, you said? Yes. Uh, so, I have the right to do whatsoever that I want to but do. But ma'am... Hey, can I come on? Haven't you longed for this thing? Haven't you dreamt of how it will look like? Giving it to you at a platter of gold. Why don't you just 
Ma'am. Hey. Why? Just okay. Um, um. <sighs> but on a better report, just hold me, please. What is this? Is this a child's play or what? Why are you, why are you holding me against my will? Because I find it very, very embarrassing. Listening to you spew that nonsense from your mouth, called allegations. What is this? Stop being dramatic. You are the only one mischievous enough to do something like this. Really? Oh, yes. <laughs> what proof do you have? No proof? You're accusing someone without any proof? What is this? We know you spent a week at Whispering Palms and a trip to Abu Dhabi. And, and what? Are you keeping tabs on my personal life? First, uh, I have money. Money goes into my account. Only he, he hasn't honored that. But I'm not even complaining. First, you and I can actually sue you. I can sue you for invading my privacy. It is called investigation, Miss Pierce. Yes. We would just want to know how 7.6 million naira disappeared into thin air. Are you so sure that my client supposedly knows about this? This is that the most assassination of character. I don't just get it. Why, why, why are you suspecting me? Why me? When he has a wife. Another wife that has access to his property. So why me? He has access to his property and entitlement. So why just me? Clinton, why me? You're never going to change it. <laughs> You're never going to change. Lying remains your strongest defense mechanism. You are never going to change. Look at you. What did you do with all that money that I gave to you? Blow it on some jiggle. <laughs> hmm? And I hurt you? Because you're no longer getting it from me. Oh, well, I knew. I knew she would never get you. Only Claudia can get you. Oh, please, don't flatter yourself. You think that stealing a few millions from my account will frustrate me? So why are you crying? Who are you calling everybody? Why are you calling the, the governor of the central bank when you can handle this? Oh, so you admit that you stole it? It doesn't matter what comes out of my mouth. You've decided to believe whatsoever that you want to believe. I do not care. But you know what? You, you will come back to me. I know you will come back to me. But you know what? Try and scrutinize people around you because you never know who's the devil. You know you are some excuse for a woman. Wash yourself. <laughs> I'll be sure you know what you're doing. Hmm. You must be the father of my child. Whether you like it or not, you are going to be the father of my born child. What? Why would she say such a thing? Why? 
So now calm down. All right. She was just blabbing as far as I'm concerned. Well, she may be blabbing, but she's trying to drag my name into it. What is it? How can she say such a thing? Why would I want to take such amount of money from you, let alone stealing it? Am I that stupid? No, baby, you're not. But she is, though. She's the devil's incarnate, you know, so please. No, she's possessed. Yes, she is. That's the only kind of explanation to why she would do something like this and try to drag my name into it. Baby, it's fine. Sit down. Please. Please. Let her blab. As much as she wants. What's most important is that I do not believe her. You believe in her or not, it's not my problem. Clint, it's not. My problem is that your ex-wife is trying to drag me into her mess. Honey, I know I promised you that I was not going to get involved in a lot. Oh yes, you did. But if she continues to drag me into this mess, she's going to see me in a light that she never expected. So much pain and tragedies, huddles on my way. Ask you, why? Why would you insult my wife? Why would you even think of belittling her like that after everything that you've done? Claudia, what is your problem? <laughs> I see. So she has already come to complain to you? And there you are. What did you come here to do? To beat me up? <laughs> Clinton, come on. Let me watch you do it. No, beat me, Sammy. Listen to me. Don't think that me being calm and excessively understanding is a sign of weakness. You see, the stupid stunt that you have just pulled the next time you try it. <sighs> you don't believe what I'll do. What to you. would you do? What would I do? What would you do? What would I do? Oh, yes. Because you did not do anything when I, I put your business to jeopardy. You did not do anything. You did not do anything when I sent my boys to call them money from your tenants. You couldn't do anything. So what are you here for? What can you do? You cannot do anything because you are... You are just a pussy. You are an idiot. That's who you are. That's right. Yes. That's right. You see, all that time that you pulled all that stunt, I knew about it even though you lied through it. All that I can take. But you insulting my wife, that I will not take. Claudia, you and I are divorced. We are done. Understand it? Leave me a mind alone. I will. 